Felix sat annoyed in the corner of the room, alternately squinting his eyes and ears. Can't I find any peace in this house anymore? He grumbled to himself. Is it too much to ask for an old cat to have a quiet place to relax? Felix leisurely got up from his comfortable windowsill where he liked to doze. After stretching and yawning extensively, he leaped down. The problem was that his favorite spot in the room had suddenly been transformed into the family's music room. Chairs were arranged in a circle, and someone was constantly practicing on one of the many musical instruments scattered throughout the room. The piano music, in particular, was driving Felix almost to despair. Normally, the family had occasionally played music, which was nothing unusual for Felix. But not in this room. There's even a small separate music room in the house, thought Felix. In addition, a group of unfamiliar musicians had joined the family, whom Felix didn't know. Although he usually liked visitors, these people didn't count because they simply ignored the cat. Once they sat in the chairs, they became completely absorbed in their sheet music and instruments. Music is all well and good, thought Felix, but this cacophony and chirping is simply unbearable, especially when it doesn't produce anything harmonious, that's for sure. The terrible noises reminded Felix of the nightly concerts of the neighbor's cats in the courtyard. Felix could safely watch from his cozy spot by the window and be glad that he didn't have to participate in the terrifying battles and songs of the other cats. Probably the stray cats are defending their territory at night or forming unwanted friendships. Who knows, thought Felix. In any case, they produced sounds similar to the violin in the neighboring room. At the thought of it, Felix couldn't help but arch his back and shake himself, releasing a cloud of fur from his coat. But he didn't care at that moment. A cloud of dust and fur spread and clung to chairs, seats, the carpet, and even the musical instruments. Felix's family didn't seem particularly pleased about it. He had recently heard his owner nervously searching for a lint brush and saying in frustration, It feels like we have a lion's mane in the house, not a cat, with all the shedding Felix is doing these days. Then he heard her continue talking. You can't even leave the house without brushing off your clothes first. Where is that brush? Has anyone seen it? Without waiting for an answer and still searching, she exclaimed loudly, I'm putting 10 lint brushes on my Christmas wish list this year. Felix thought, what do they have against my beautiful fur? Felix led a comfortable cat life and enjoyed it. In fact, he even liked music. Sometimes he could really relax and purr quietly in rhythm. But today was just too much. He had to do something to get their attention. He began to rub against people's legs, which he normally did when he wanted to make friends with someone. Today, however, he was much more determined. As he circled people's legs, more and more little fur clouds detached from him. It didn't take long until he heard the first reprimand. Felix, what are you doing? We're rehearsing music. A woman kept sneezing constantly, and a man was constantly looking at his leg. One even said, Strange, my clarinet feels somehow clogged. Nevertheless, they continued to play, undisturbed. Since this method didn't seem to help, Felix started meowing loudly to the music as loudly as he could. He thought they probably wouldn't hear him anyway. But when he was almost hoarse, one person from the group exclaimed, Hey, people! What's wrong with your cat? We can't concentrate at all! I'm a tomcat, not a cat, thought Felix, but he had no more strength to meow. He heard his people apologizing for him, saying something like, Normally he's not like this and we don't know what's gotten into him today. Well, at least they're defending me, Felix noted. Whenever his people were very busy, they often forgot everything around them, even Felix's regular mealtimes, which were usually strictly observed. Felix strolled to his bowl, tapped it with his paw to indicate that he was hungry. The bowl tipped over and made a loud, metallic noise on the tile floor. Luckily, it was empty, thought Felix, because he was usually very cautious and gentle. A guest musician turned around briefly, but the clattering of the other musicians was still louder. What else can I do to make them stop? Felix wondered. He could simply retreat. There were plenty of rooms in the house, but he didn't want to give up the fight for his favorite room so easily. There was still another option. The indoor plants in the house were of great importance. They were lovingly cared for and were a source of pride for the family. 
Felix was sometimes even a bit jealous of the palms, ficus trees, and orchids because they were constantly admired, petted, and checked for pests. Sometimes Felix would have liked to cover his ears with his paws. These plants, they're just plants. Pay attention to me instead. Maybe I should nibble on one of them, then the concert might stop. So let's go, it's worth a try. Felix approached one of the plants stealthily. Hmm, it doesn't smell bad actually. And with his current hunger, it was really tempting. He jumped onto a chair next to one of the plants to reach the leaves better. Just as he reached out his paw to grab a juicy branch, he lost his balance and the large pot fell over with a loud crash. The chair with Felix on it also toppled over. The leap Felix made in fright when he jumped from the chair to cling to the chandelier was spectacular. No one could overlook it, and above all, no one could hear it. Everyone dropped their instruments and rushed into the room where the commotion had happened. Felix hung from the chandelier and suddenly there was complete silence. A large pile of shards lay on the floor and soil was scattered everywhere. The faces of the people showed sheer horror. Felix, what has gotten into you? The owner struggled to keep her composure. My beautiful little plant, I've cared for it for years. Another person screamed, get the cat down from there or the entire ceiling will come down. Now everything happened very quickly. Someone grabbed Felix and took him outside to the terrace without hesitation. Then the door was simply slammed shut. Felix sat there as if petrified. This was not what he had expected. He was a very tame house cat. He had never spent a night outside. How could they? Instinctively, Felix knew that begging and scratching at the door wouldn't help now. He had truly upset his people for the first time. He thought with dread about the upcoming nightly cat concert in the courtyard. But then Felix heard a familiar, friendly voice say, Where are you, Felix? Felix was relieved and now knew for sure that his people really loved him very much. Thank you so much for being here and experiencing this wonderful adventure with me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any new adventures.